Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is a little new for me, I haven't done a voiceover in a really long time. Uh, just a suggestion from Apex, I think that's how you pronounce it, asked me that I should do some more voiceovers instead of just captions, so here we go. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through how to navigate a Google Classroom on an online interface for PC, Mac, or Linux. All the same thing. Uh, so first you want to go to open, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> my god, sorry. First you want to go to open your Google Classroom. Um, if you haven't made a Google Classroom already, check out my other videos, link in description on how to make your Google Classroom. Um, so to share a comment with your class, I'm going to show you right here. Um, you can type your comments in the box and from in there you can um, add... Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> you can add um, files, you could add links, you could add YouTube videos or um, something in the Google Drive if you have a shared file with your students. Um, you can also specific, um, I don't have anyone in the school classroom, but you can pick specific students that this can go to. Um, you can also schedule a post or just draft it or post it right away. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just demonstrating that here. I'm oh, sorry about my spelling, by the way. My spelling, as you can tell, is um greatly atrocious. Yeah. Um, he, like I said before, this is where you can uh, schedule, save draft, post it, or select specific students. Um, and then from after you post it, your students, or even you, can add comments on the post that you have made. Now this is just, this could be a post, um, or just a comment that you want to make to your class. Um, next I'm going to show you how to assign classwork to your students. So to assign classwork, you want to go to the classwork tab on the top of your on the top of your screen, and you're gonna to want to hit create. If you don't want to specifically hit that, you can add a Google Calendar event that all your students will see, all the students that are enrolled in your class will see, and automatically go into their calendar, or add stuff to the class shared Google Drive uh, folder. Uh, so right now, as an example, I'm gonna create an assignment. And from here, you can make the title, optional instructions, um, add files, or such as a Google Drive, a YouTube video, links, or photos, such, su such and such. Um, uh, you can also change the point average to however you may grade. And uh, you can have an optional due date selected along with the time, and have a topic as well. You can also create documents if you don't have one on hand already. Uh, next, you can go to the people section to, um, you can add students, send them an email uh, to that they can accept or decline to join your class along with uh, other teachers. Now here's the grading session. Uh, you can change the, your gradebook average to how you like to grade as a teacher and you can keep these grades in here. Um, for all your students to see their own grades, you could even have it set so the other students can see the other students' grades. Um, this is good if specific teachers, maybe if they're not used to using online grading, such as Aspen or SkyCloud, um, or they just like to have the grades on hand. Uh, very useful, especially now uh, with COVID-19. But yeah, that, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to like and subscribe. See y'all later. Bye.
if you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see.